Ooh, the ground below your feet is rumbling. You hear a scary roar in the distance and think to yourself, okay, this is it. This is how I go. A large Tyrannosaurus Rex is heading your way. Its massive jaws wide open, the creature is ready to swallow you whole. But only until a large ape springs out of nowhere and blocks its path. That's the Gigantopithecus. It's an actual King Kong that disappeared around 100,000 years ago. While the two creatures are trying to stare each other down, you quietly sneak off to hide behind the bushes. The animals are out in the open plain. That's where the T-Rex has a home advantage. Tyrannosaurus Rex means king of the tyrant lizards, and the creature deserves its name. This giant dino stood around 12 feet tall. It was also as long as a school bus, stretching 40 feet from nose to tail. It lived around 68 million years ago in North America. Thanks to the shape of its skull, the T-Rex probably had good vision. But scientists claim that the animal mostly relied on its strong sense of smell when it hunted for food. The huge ape bangs on its chest and lets out a terrifying low growl. The Gigantopithecus is the largest primate that has ever been discovered. It lived in the tropical jungles of southern China and some areas in Thailand. When scientists discovered its jawbones, they noticed that the animal's teeth were meant to grind and chew. At the same time, the T-Rex had 60 razor-sharp serrated teeth, each about 8 inches long. Anyway, a 12-foot-tall dinosaur and a 10-foot-tall ape are standing facing each other. The fight is about to begin. The T-Rex charges toward the ape. Its speed isn't really high, which gives its opponent enough time to duck and roll out of the way. Good for the Gigantopithecus. It wouldn't be a pleasant experience to be at the receiving end of the T-Rex's bite. The dino had a bite force of at least 6 tons. And no wonder, with such powerful jaw muscles. The T-Rex wasn't the fastest dino out there. It could only move at the average speed of 12 miles per hour. But the creature was flexible and rather smart. By the time the ape is back on its feet, the T-Rex is already charging at it. But the large ape manages to swing a punch at its opponent. Its incredible force almost knocks the dino out. At least, it's enough to make the T-Rex see some spinning stars flying around its head. The animal's tiny arms aren't long enough to respond in kind. If this was an arm wrestling match, the ape would surely win without breaking a sweat. Actually, almost any animal could probably win hands down in an arm wrestling match against a T-Rex. But the dino hasn't been skipping leg day, that's for sure. Its massive limbs could probably squish a car if there had been cars at that time. The ape sprints toward the fallen dinosaur, but gets smacked right in its face with the T-Rex's enormous tail. The ape flies upward. You have to throw your head back to watch its flight. And still, the animal manages to avoid any damage thanks to its powerful arms. The T-Rex has already risen and is now racing towards the Gigantopithecus. With nowhere to hide, the ape uses its long arms to hold the T-Rex's mouth closed. Meanwhile, its opponent does its best to open its jaws. Soon, the dinosaur succeeds. It sinks its teeth into the ape's thigh and tries to shake the animal like a rattle. But the ape isn't that easy to defeat. It begins pounding on the dino's skull while keeping the T-Rex's mouth from moving. Now, keep in mind that this ape was at least three times bigger than the modern-day gorilla and weighed more than 1,000 pounds. And still, nothing seems to be helping. The ape is getting weaker. It's losing its strength. The animal then attempts to get rid of the dino's jaws on his thigh. It musters up all its energy and opens the T-Rex's mouth. After that, the ape quickly frees its leg from the teeth prison and breaks free. Without wasting any time, the creature throws several punches at the T-Rex, knocking it to the ground. Soon, the dino can barely stand straight without falling over. It attempts to run away and have a rest, but the ape is too persistent. It isn't backing down. The T-Rex weighed between 6 and 8 tons, and the bigger the animal is, the harder it goes down. But throwing all those punches is wearing the ape down. It starts to slow down. This buys the dino some time to recover. 
Once ready, it pushes the ape onto the ground with its massive head and tries to stomp the opponent. The ape dodges and rolls out of the way. It even manages to grab one of the T-Rex's legs and flip the dino over. But the ape's arms have become weaker after the struggle. The T-Rex manages to get up and bites down on the ape's shoulder. This tires the Gigantopithecus even more. Without being able to use its arms, there isn't much the animal can actually do. It seems the T-Rex has won this round. You can use this small break to get away from the giant animals. You're now in the thick tropical jungle, and the humidity there is turning your hair into an afro. Suddenly, you see something large and dark lurking behind the trees. Out comes the Gigantopithecus! Just great! Not again! This time, the creature seems to be ready for whatever comes its way. You see the trees in the distance move like ripples on a lake. The T-Rex pops out. It also looks ready for action. All you can think about is, why can't I just have a normal vacation? So you find yourself a nice comfy spot to get out of the way. Even though the Gigantopithecus was a native of the tropical jungle, studies show this creature didn't climb trees. The ape was too large and heavy to climb trunks and swing from branch to branch. Instead, it gathered food from the ground and was tall enough to pick fruit from trees, which was its main diet. Scientists know for sure that the Gigantopithecus went extinct during the Ice Age. Climate change wiped out all of its favorite foods. And for some reason, this species didn't take to eating greenery, such as grass and leaves. The T-Rex was definitely designed to eat meat. Its diet consists of basically anything it could get its tiny hands on. The dino hunted animals and other dinosaurs, but it wasn't above scavenging. Oh look, they're at it again! But this time, it's the ape that has a strong home advantage. Even though it can't technically climb trees, it can easily squeeze through bushes. It also knows the jungle like the back of its enormous head. And the T-Rex has troubles navigating through the dense jungle. It keeps bumping into trees. The T-Rex looks lost. It can't seem to find the ape. It moves to grab a bite of whatever seems to be its opponent. But it's just a large bush. The dino gets angry and shakes it until only several branches and twigs are left. Meanwhile, the ape appears out of nowhere and throws a powerful punch. The T-Rex loses its balance and topples over. It tries to bite the ape, but misses. The ape keeps hitting the dinosaur. The T-Rex manages to swing its tail and sends its opponent into a tree, breaking the trunk. Some fruit drop onto the ape's head. The animal grabs them and throws at the dino, trying to confuse it. But it's like throwing pebbles at a rock. The ape takes hold of a tree trunk and uses it as a shield to avoid tail swings directed at it. As soon as the trunk breaks, the ape catapults itself on top of the T-Rex, trying to wrestle the creature to the ground. The king of the lizards is crushed down by the ape's weight and can't find a way to free itself. It tries to get out of the opponent's grip several times. Once the dino succeeds, it scurries away out of the jungle. The big ape is the winner. Victorious, it bangs on its chest. Um, now, how are you supposed to get out of here?